Okay, so I'm going to go over what's new in this next version of Croctal 3D. This is currently version 1.3.6. So let's get started going over what has been improved or changed. First of all, I fi fixed a bug related to the magnifying list. If it's too low to the screen, it gets flipped up and then covers this button. So hopefully that'll be fixed. I know it's at least fixed in the Windows versions. And next is I added a working file name to the scene. So if you load a scene or if you save a scene, it will display the name of it right here. So that's if you're working on a lot of different scenes. You might forget which one you're working on. You can just look up here at the at the name of it. Okay, so next I added uh, restore. I added a um, the ability for the program to remember your zoom levels for the tile set and painting tab. So if you're zoomed in 400%, if you quit the application and then reload the application, the zoom level should remain the same as you left it. Okay. Next, I uh, added a in this shortcut menu. It lists the shortcuts, but uh, if you had custom key bindings, they wouldn't update this this menu. So now, if you have custom key bindings, these shortcuts will reflect those. Next, I fixed an exporting option using power of two textures right here. This wasn't working before. I mean, it was working if you had the tile spacing set, but if you didn't want to use tile spacing, using power of two textures would not apply. So now this applies regardless of whether you're using tile spacing or not. And what the power of two textures does is if you have a tile set that isn't doesn't have dimensions that are considered a power of two, which is which are like uh, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, two fifty-six, five hundred twelve, uh, ten twenty-four. If your tile set dimensions didn't fit those uh, specific um, pixel widths or heights, then if you were to import them into some other program, they might like resample the texture and cause things to not look right. So to prevent that, you may need to check this box and use power of two textures if you're not using a tile set size that that fits those dimensions. So like if you're using a tile set size that has a width of like 300 pixels or 200 pixels or something like that, that might be something to consider okay and okay so next I added a scaling option when exporting so right here you can set the scale if you if you want to adjust things so right now it, one is considered uh, normal size if it's below one it'll reduce the size if it's above one it'll increase the size. It just magnify. it just uh, multiplies that value to all the vertices positions. Okay, so if you set it to the value of 2, everything will become double the size. Okay, so uh, set it to 3, it'll be triple the size, triple the size it is. <laughs> okay, so next I added a border to the tile sets right here. You can see, and this is useful if um, you're editing a section like that, if you go into the paint tab, it's easier to see where the section ends and where it begins. Okay, this is useful if uh, you're you have a lot of transparent area and you're not sure like where your boundaries are. Okay, so next. I 
added an option in the settings to align the brush to the crosshair. So that is right here, align brush to crosshair. And when it's when it's enabled, what it does is if you're in the drawing mode, it will align it the edges to the crosshair point. Okay? In some cases you may have noticed if your crosshair has moved the tile brush would not align with it, okay? So with this option on, it always aligns to the crosshair. Can you see that? So if we turn it off, let's see what it does. You can see that it's not aligned to the crosshair, regardless of where you move it. Instead, it's aligned to the origin point. So if we put the crosshair next to the origin point, which is down here next to the corner of this house. It always aligns with the origin point in the scene, which is 0, 0, 0, if, it's, if this option is disabled. Okay. So if it's disabled, it aligns with the origin point. If it's enabled, it aligns with the crosshair. Okay. And so I think this will be useful to people that may have found it difficult to align stuff while they're drawing the tiles, okay? Next, I added an option in the settings, overlap tile brush. So where is that? Overlap tile brush right here. And what this does is if you have multiple objects selected like this, if it's if it's enabled, you could draw and it'll overlap. The tile brush just moves one tile space. Okay. Can you see that? Now, if it's disabled, it will not overlap, as you can see. So as you move the tile brush around, it prevents it from overlapping. So if you draw, they won't overlap. next setting I mean the next thing that we've implemented is when loading a scene tile brush wouldn't display the correct tile scale okay so like if you had a tile scale of 2 if you loaded the scene it wouldn't correctly it wouldn't correctly, correctly re refresh the tile brush to reflect your setting, so now it should work. Next, I, re I reduced the lag with selecting many vertices and faces with the lasso box. So there was some lag that you may have noticed when selecting a lot of vertices, but right now it goes pretty quickly, as you can see here. It doesn't slow down. So, select all of them, and as you can see, oops, there's a little bit of slowdown in the beginning, but then it speeds up. So now, that should be a lot better, and the same thing with the faces. Okay, so now next I 
fix the bug related to selecting objects while editing an instance with object con constraint mode enabled. So if you were editing this and you tried selecting an object, you'd be able to select it. But if you have the settings on and object constraint modes on, it won't let you select it. You can now select multiple object instances by holding control and control alt to deselect them. You could center the crosshair point by holding shift and C to the selection. When you move the mouse out of the scene, it will hide the brush. And various issues with toggling instances visibility.